We're talking about the dwarf galaxy Sexton Zay, about 4 million light years away. JWST detected complex materials there, mm. metallic iron dust and silicon carbide. Why is that revelation so surprising? Well, the surprise lies in Sextra A's composition. It's classified as a low metallicity galaxy. Meaning it has only about 3 to 7% of the metal content of our own sun. Right. And in astrophysics, metals refers to any element heavier than helium. Standard theory suggested that in such environments, the conditions just weren't right for stars to e efficiently create and expel solid dust grains containing these heavier elements. So, finding metallic iron and silicon carbide, which require complex stellar processes to form, it challenges the idea that planet-building materials were scarce in these metal-poor regions. Precisely. It suggests that the production and dispersal of dust materials occurred much more efficiently and through more diverse mechanisms, even in the most chemically primitive parts of the early universe. Which means the pathways to forming terrestrial planets were potentially open everywhere, much earlier than we thought. That's the implication. And crucially, JWST he also found polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, or PAHs, in dense pockets within Sextons A. Hmm, <clears throat> this is huge. For the listener, what exactly are PAHs and why are they so vital for life? So PAHs are large, complex, carbon-based molecules. You can basically think of them as sheets of carbon rings. They are vital because they are considered the fundamental building blocks of complex organic molecules. The starter kit for biology. The starter kit. They're ubiquitous in space and play a key role in the formation of new stars and planets. So the discovery of PAHs in low metallicity regions like Sextons A confirms that the necessary carbon-based chemistry for complexity was functional even in environments we previously considered chemically sparse. The universe was seeding itself for complexity from the very beginning. It seems so. The building blocks of life were being distributed across the universe four million light years away. That's incredible.